If you create a pinboard from a worksheet, you can apply filters to the entire pinboard with one operation. This makes it easier to see only the data that you're interested in across the tables and charts within the pinboard. In order to apply a pinboard filter, you need to have edit access to the pinboard and view access or higher to the underlying data sources. To add a pinboard filter, click Actions and then select Add Filters. A menu will appear on the left side of the page containing all of the columns from the worksheets that make up the pinboard. Click the filter icon next to the columns you'd like to use as filters. A dialog box will appear where you can choose the values for your filter by selecting the appropriate checkbox. If your value isn't listed, you can find it by entering the name in the search field at the top of the dialog box. Once your values are selected, click Add Filter to apply your filter. The filter is created and will appear at the top of the pinboard where you can either edit or delete it. To edit a filter, click on it and then select different values. This way, for example, you can get a quick update on each customer, product, or location without having to make separate pinboards for each one. Remove the filter to go back to the big picture view of your data. If you attempt to navigate to a different page without selecting the green Save Changes button, a dialog box will pop up asking you to save your changes or discard them. Note that pinboard filters only apply to the tables and charts in your pinboard that are based on worksheets. This means they won't apply to any visualizations that were created from underlying tables or user-imported data.